Hey, 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 welcome back. How you guys doing today? Welcome back to another episode of stuff that I like to talk about that's going on in the world. Uh, this week, I uh, I got a good for I got a good one for you. Um, it's really awkward seeing the fact that uh, Elon's going to buy Twitter. Um, it's just a weird time. Elon said he was in the still, you know, on the final stages of the agreement, um, kind of wrapping things up. At this point, it's just a formality. He had already made the major, like, purchases he needed to do. Like, the the initial uh, down payment, the initial loan is already done. The agreements, for the most part, have been finalized. It's just the last, I guess, legalese that needs to be taken care of. Um, one of the things that was a holdout is apparently uh, there's, like, a huge uproar in the staff <laughs> about about the purchase which is like i mean let's be honest at what point in human history has there ever been a company purchase that all employees were happy with i mean let's just be honest it, it, there is zero 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 people you know zero times has it ever happened where somebody made a big purchase of a company and everybody in the staff was okay with it i mean let's just be honest that's just not a reality um Another thing uh, to keep in mind is a lot of the people who are freaking out about the company being purchased, they're bad people. I mean, a lot of those people, and that's not, I'm not going to say it's everybody who has a concern. I'm going to say majority. It's like a big vocal minority of, uh, of, the, of the internet, you know. Um, these people, they, they want you to think that they're like the majority of the people, but all they are is just... The majority of the crybabies <laughs> the majority of the crybabies are like you know let's be honest let's just call it what it is they're of a certain persuasion um you know and they use twitter as a uh improperly in my opinion in, improperly as a form of confirmation bias as a form of validation as a form of you know uh reading the room right uh, looking at the water and seeing if what you're believing is like, you know, sane, <laughs> as opposed to like, uh, actually, no, this is a very small minority of people who actually use this platform. It's not, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, it's not the town square, really. It's just the town square as far as like the new age is concerned, right? The new age of people like Zoomers. Zoomers are online most of the time um versus not online right and that's just how i see it as far as like where the society is headed like it looks like zoomers are going to be mostly online um again i could be wrong there could be like a giant group of zoomers in the country who actually are not online ever and that's fine nothing wrong with that i actually support that um but you know these people they want you to think that you know twitter whatever is happening is normal whereas they're like censoring people left and right and it's just like at the end of the day that's not how a company should be run and also even if you were to run a company like that and you had the infinite money you know you have shareholders you're beholden to and those shareholders want to see that company income go up not down and the only way income can go up only time number can go up is if you have people who are using the platform they're happy with the platform the platform is growing etc etc and let's be honest uh it's not it's not growing it's it it reached its leftist max uh let's just call it what it is it reached its leftist max the people who aren't on it don't want to be on it for a re good reason and the leftists who are on it they've fully invested into it they've aped into it and they are living it, you know, they're living on it perpetually. It's, there's a term that's called, um, there's a term online called terminally online. And that's what they're doing. They, they've perched onto Twitter, right? That's their main hub. Um, and so as a result, them knowing that their era is over where, you know, the guy's gonna come in and make changes to the platform where obviously, you know, the some of the anti-consumer concepts that they've been practicing are going to be done like no more over censoring no more policing with the whole uh moderation it's always funny because they're as far as these people 
as much as they say they're against policing and over policing they sure like to police when it's uh when it's in their favor it's interesting how that works again obviously there's there's a nuance to everything obviously you can't just be putting anything online like somebody's address and stuff like that i'm not advocating for that what i am saying is there is a happy medium between you know uh some sort of moderation where you're making sure that people's like you know home address isn't being posted or you know um you know materials that are abusive to children are not being posted things of that nature there's definitely a room for that in moderation i mean that moderation for uh, let's be honest when it came to the forums there's a reason why a lot of forums were successful because the moderation was solid the people had common sense uh, i had great experiences being on a lot of different forums you know up to a certain point even neogaf was good <laughs> i hate to say it like that because that makes me sound like a um somebody who was pro neogaf which i'm not <laughs> but you get what i'm saying there's like a timeline where common sense people who are you know looking after something a platform of some sort you know looking at um you know what's normal what's okay what's acceptable we're in charge and when that goes away and when people are crazy come in and play it's gonna destroy the function let's just call it what it is it's not no longer valid again you know nothing is perfect maybe when he comes in it'll be worse who knows only time will tell i do believe this is this much is true it can't be but it can't be worse than it is now at this moment right now like it, it has to at least be a little bit better we'll see how it goes we'll see if the honeymoon stage when it wears out that if it'll be better or not okay uh on one hand i recognize it could be worse on another hand how can it <laughs> i'm not gonna i'm not gonna oh, i'm not gonna push that i'm not gonna push that Oh, that's my that's my that's my two my my uh, my two thoughts on that matter. Uh, I do think it's funny that there's a whole slew of firings and not firings, quittings. A whole slew of quittings happening uh, in lieu of the firings. People are like knowing that they're going to be um, terminated because of abuse of power, the way the the position they were in, the place falling apart. I think that's going to be telling in my opinion where how the platform functions after those people leave i already heard on friday i'm a little behind on the ball here with this uh i just wanted to make sure that it was correct information i waited a few days so on friday a whole slew of people were leaving and as people were leaving there's been some reports of the platform improving <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine moderators quitting and then like the moderation improves <laughs> that really tells you something about that platform that place is a disaster and again that's not to say that you know there aren't other platforms that are just as trashy i mean i hate facebook for a reason i hate uh tiktok for a reason um i don't like these platforms i think they're terrible places um instagram is a disaster um you know really at this moment I, I can't find another platform itself that's okay at least to some extent i have a lot of gripes with youtube which we'll talk about in a different video one day but for the most part you know it's better than the other platforms <laughs> that's all i'm gonna say about that um and so what do you think do you think twitter is gonna be over when he comes in do you think it's over bro or do you think it's gonna improve do you think uh you know there's a chance it could be worse and how do you think it's gonna be worse do you think it's overblown that it's just going to be more of the same let me know in the comments appreciate your time have a great day see you later bye bye